Joining us now, former White House Council of Economic Advisors, Chair Tom Phillipson. Hey, enjoy America. We don't suck quite as bad as other nations. That's a real <laughs> winning message. Sorry, yeah, I, I, I agree. Uh, I think it's, you know, it's, it's a socialist comparing himself to other mainly socialist countries. And we're doing, you know, a little bit better. Uh, it's a little bit like a criminal coming into court and arguing his defenses that other people also commit crime. So it's kind of, I think what the, what's missing is not how the U.S. economy is comparing to other economies. It's how the U.S. economy could compare to other policies being instituted during the administration. So if you look at what they've done, it's, it, it's been you know, a massive disaster in terms of inflation and debt. Et and so with your leadership, if you had you know, your fingers on the, on the levers, what would we have right now? Would we have this kind of inflation? Would we see supply chain issues still? What, what would we see with, with, with free enterprise-esque policies? Yeah, I think, I mean, if you look at what happened before we left, we had a, you know, a V-shaped economy without yeah. inflation. Now we have inflation and no growth, essentially. So I think a lot of those policies that got instituted in the last two years are responsible. I think in particular for labor markets, because people say labor markets are hot. They're not hot because everyone is on the sideline. And that's why the unemployment rate is so low. Because if you're the only one looking for a job, it's not hard to find a job. Because right. <laughs> everyone's on the sideline. So basically, the labor force participation rate has gone down, which grew dramatically under the Trump administration, has not kept up at all with the trend nor you know, previous levels before COVID. Right. But this is, we were talking about last week, it's a circular crushing of working Americans where they were crushed by the inflation, which is still running at close to 6.5%, and the Federal Reserve is trying to fight it. And the expectation now is they could take short-term interest rates to 6% even, so, and they ran up their debt trying to make ends meet, mm -hmm. and so now they're being crushed because of that. Mm -hmm. And it's the rich folks that Biden and company hang out with. They're doing just A-OK. -okay, but this is, a, this is an untenable situation that Americans are grappling with. Yeah, I think the main thing is that, you know, economists view taxation taking place in different ways. If you have this debt that we had, you can either tax people to pay for that debt, or you can tax them with inflation. Right. So Biden has instituted an enormous tax on people, mainly on people below 400,000, may I add, uh, through this policy. And I think that's, you know, where we're, what we're seeing. We had real wage growth being negative for, you know, two years now. And there's nothing different between that and taking their money through IRS as opposed to taking away their purchasing power. Tom, I'm not sure if you're a Venn dia diagram guy, but we know that Kamala Harris is. So we did a Venn diagram uh, last Friday. Take a look at this. It's spending and inflation along with interest rates, uh, killing American energy. And in the middle, in this Venn diagram of, you know, it's always three circles, as, as Kamala will say. <laughs> They're crushing the American people. And, and to, to, your, to Dagan's point, rates are rising. People have a ton of credit card debt they can't afford again. Food, gas, rent. Um, more, more uh, difficulty buying a home. And at every level, the American people are getting crushed with this economy. Yeah, I mean, think of the people almost like our government right now. The government debt is really getting very costly to maintain, mainly because rates are going so high. We didn't have that during COVID. During COVID, rates just went through the floor, and therefore the servicing cost of debt wasn't really high. It didn't move much because, we, yes, we were racking up a larger debt, but at lower rates. Now we have a double whammy, larger debt and higher rates. And that's kind of similar to what the households have to deal with on, a, on an individual level, that what our government is dealing with. But it's the doom they, loop. They can't that's print money, though, to service their debt. Exactly. They can't <laughs> mandate other people to pay for what they're that's, doing. Yeah. That's too bad. <laughs> they can vote the bums out, though, can't they? They can. But will they? Power. But will they? Tom, thank Great you for joining you. us. Thank you. Great Appreciate to see you. It.